So this is a community frequency graph, which, gi which gives some information about the times it took people to complete a challenge. Now, when we have a community frequency graph like this, there's a number of things that we can work out. Um, those that you would be already familiar with are the median, the upper quartile, lower quartile, and then the interquartile range using the upper quartile and lower quartiles. Okay, so let's start with the median. Uh, the median will be found in the middle point of the data. So if there are 80 people here, we are looking at 40 for that. So we look across 40 and we take the reading here for the time in seconds and that will be our median. The upper quartile and the lower quartiles will be halfway between the median and the bottom point and halfway between the uh, median and the top point. So uh, that will be 60 for the upper quartile. So we go across and we read it here and it will be at 20 for the lower quartile. We go across and read it there. And the interquartile range will be the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile. Now, there is a couple of new things that we need to learn. Uh, this is also separated into percentiles. So if I separate it into percentiles, it means I'm dividing this by 100. Okay, so each percentile will be 0 0.8. So we can look at um, finding, for example, the 10th percentile. Now, the 10th percentile uh, would be... 80, and then I find the 10th, 10 percent of that, so 10 percent of 80 is 8, it would be where the 8th per person is, which is about here. Okay, so I go across and I make a reading here, and that would be our 10th percentile. We can also find the interpercentile range. So if I find two percentiles, and I'm asked to find the interpercentile range between them, that would be finding the interpercentile range. Okay, so let's find the 10th percentile and the 90th percentile. So the 10th percentile would be, I need to look at 8 at the uh, community frequency part here. So 8 would be here. And I just draw a line across and I go down and I make a reading there. And that to me looks like it's 38. Okay, so that's the 10th percentile. Okay, and I'm also interested in the 90th percentile. So that would be um, 8 times 9, which is 72. Or I can think I go back 8 from 80, so it's going to be here. And again, I do the same thing. I take a reading from my graph. So I go across and I go down. Okay, it looks like it's there. So that looks like to me 86. Okay, so 86 seconds. So the 10th percentile is 38 seconds, the 90th percentile is 86 seconds, and the interpercentile range between the 10th and the 90th percentile would be 86 take away 38, and that's going to give me 48. So 48 seconds for the interpercentile range between the 10th percentile and the 90th percentile. Now, we could also be asked um, interpercentile range between different percentages, okay, depending on what the data is looking like, and you, know, you could be asked different things like that. We can also divide um, our data into 10, so um, 10 equal sections. So 10 equal sections, and there's a name for that as well, that would be deciles, okay? So that would be written like this, um, so deciles like this. So when it's divided into 10 equal sections, it's deciles. So this was percentiles, but this could have also been deciles. It would be the first decile, okay, and the ninth decile. Let's look for the fourth decile, okay? So if I divide this by 10, I get 8, and the fourth one would be 4 times 8, which is 32. So the fourth decile will be found at 32, so that's there. So this is where the fourth decile is, fourth. Okay, and we just make a reading from the graph. And it looks like the fourth decile is going to be 64 seconds. Okay, so if you're asked for the fourth decile, for example, you will say 64 seconds. Now here's one for you to try. So um, we have some information here about, um, some information about the weights of some objects. And we've got the community frequency graph for that. And you've got some questions here to do. So first question is find the interquartile range. Second question, find the 15th to 75th interpercentile range. And then question three, you need to work with deciles and interdecile range.